In this video, I'll show you how to create your own commentaries and books in Sword Searcher. These are called user modules. The really great thing about user modules in Sword Searcher is that they behave just like other library items in the software. Verse references are linked, they show up in the verse guide, and they can be searched just like normal commentaries and books. First, I'll create a new commentary to record my thoughts on verses. I select Create New User Commentary from the User menu. I need to give my commentary a title and abbreviation. I'm calling my new commentary My Verse Notes and giving it the abbreviation My Notes. The abbreviation is used in the margin links and on tabs. The commentary I created is now displayed in the commentary panel along with the other commentaries. There are several ways I can begin writing text on a verse. You can see here there are toolbar buttons for editing a user comment. But usually the most convenient way is clicking the edit link next to a verse. Here's the editor. Notice that it is separate from the main Sword Searcher window. I can move it anywhere I like on the desktop, even to another monitor. The nice thing about having the editor separate is that while I'm writing my text, I have full access to the rest of Sword Searcher, making it convenient to build my study at my own pace. I could do Bible searches and even explore the other commentaries at the same time I'm editing my notes. I'll enter some text with a verse reference. I'm clicking the Save button to save my work. Here's my text in the commentary panel. I'm going to close the editor now. Since I saved a note on John 3.16, the Bible margin now shows a link to my notes for this verse. Also, when I saved my text, the verse reference I typed was automatically linked, and I can hold the mouse over the verse for a context preview just like in the other commentaries and books. Although I typed this reference manually, Sword Searcher also gives me various link insert shortcuts, so I wouldn't have to. Making changes to my text is easy. You've seen how to create a commentary. A commentary is best when you want to write notes on a verse-by-verse -verse basis. But if you'd like to write topic-based text, or store a group of lessons and sermons, you'll want to create a user book. I'm creating a book to use when I'm putting together Bible studies. Having a Sword Searcher module with my studies is great because I can always search them and add to them over time, and they're right there with the rest of my study resources. Here's my new, empty user book. I'll create a new entry called Salvation. Now that I've created the entry, I'll click the Edit button. Editing book entries is the same as editing a commentary verse note. I'll enter some text and make a reference to John 3.16. As you can see, the text I saved appears in the book panel and the verse reference was linked automatically. And thanks to Sword Searcher's deep referencing features, there is now a link in the Bible margin to the book entry I created with the reference to John 3.16. Sword Searcher gives you a lot of useful tools and shortcuts for user module editing. For example, suppose I want to use this entry as a Bible study handout. I'd like the full verse text to be included in the text, so I've placed the typing cursor on the verse reference. When I press Ctrl T, the full text of the verse is automatically inserted. Now, to print out the entry, all I need to do is go to the File menu and select Print Book Panel Text. The User menu also gives me the option to print the entire contents of the user book. 
Now that I have a book called My Studies and a commentary called My Notes, I can continue to add content to these modules as I continue to study scripture with Sword Searcher. I can create as many additional modules as I need to keep my different studies or lessons organized. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Sword Searcher offers a lot of useful tools and shortcuts for user module editing. For more information, please open the help file and read the section titled Creating Your Own Books and Commentaries.